put her over the edge in certain instances. But I don't know if E's going to give Jewel the opportunity to do that. We've already seen him lock Jewel down pretty heavily at the ledge. And I wouldn't be surprised to see the first stock go because of this ledge play. Yeah, I don't think we've seen a single arc fire. And oh, there's the first one. But right that when he does it, he, he's going to lose his stock for it. And very unfortunate. But I mean, that that's... He's very liberal with his uses of Levin. He's got to be careful about when he's deciding to go in with it or just to use it to threaten space. Yeah, exactly. And I, I love Jewel just doing all these gear reverses. Very great stuff. I mean, you mentioned earlier, it's so hard for Jewel to get off the ledge. Yeah, in general, uh, with Robin, as long as Robin has room to move and room to control space, it's very difficult to lock that away from her because she's a very fluid character. She can work with a little bit of space, Damn. but... Woo. And right yeah. there, Mr. E returns the favor. I like it with the down air. I mean... In Jewel's position, Jewel had to make a play. He got got pretty feisty with the beer versus off stage. I like it, but did not able was not able to connect the finishing. Was not able to thread the needle there. And mystery with the punish. I like that stuff. But I mean, really, really solid game one coming out from mystery. Have to constantly fight off these hitboxes that are able to challenge you, especially in the air. Man, that lingering hit of down air, like just all these hits from Levin's or they're either like ridiculous amounts of knockback or you get this sour hit that has so much hit stun, Jewel can just pretty much follow up with anything. The re-grab, ooh, Jewel tried to squeeze out the down air but was not able to connect it. The up smash doesn't get the sweet spot though. With blade in hand, he's not <laughs> going to be able to do it just yet. The Thorn's online though, and I'm pretty sure Thorn will kill this. Wow, or or just the, the one, two, three jab. Yeah, if you manage to just take the jab to get the L fire charge, it's, it's super useful, especially in this matchup where Elfire is really only going to be useful at the ledge. You can't use it to assert stage control because Lucina can just jump over it. Okay. I can very likely see these guys going back and forth, and especially with Town and City to set the, uh, the tone for the rest of the set here, the count being 1-1. I feel like both these guys perform Ooh. well on it. And the Elwind gift. We're going to see Jewel take an early lead. Did he just... Did the Elwind do 8%? Like, he killed him at zero, right? <laughs> he really did nothing to him. Yeah. And, and that that's crazy because right there, Mystery tried to get very aggressive offstage. And we've seen Mystery's aggression, you know, for good or for worse, just really affect him. And right there, uh, Jewel just going to get the trigger pull. And that very first Elwind will spike you downwards. The stock. I wonder if he'll try to set it up here. It looks like here's the setup, but he back airs to the left instead of the right there. He doesn't turn it around. I don't know if he's trying to go for a, a DI mix-up or if that was just a miss input. Nonetheless, he's beating on him, Jay. He's got to make a count, and Rising Bear from the ledge will do it. Yep, catches the ledge jump there. Uh, I feel like MJ thought it was safe because he saw him go off stage like that, but fell right into his trap. And look at, oh, man, if he got that second up air, or, yeah, that second up air, that would have been so much damage. But nonetheless, still 46. Yeah, not even good that good DI was saving him. Ooh, look at this platform pressure though. Doesn't reflect the top. Oh, he tried to go for it. All right. Yeah, right right now it feels like MJ definitely kind of reaching for some of these kills. Uh and I mean there some of them are pretty creative, but I just feel like Kofi's doing a really good job of holding on to this stock and really getting back on the stage. Just as I say it, don't worry, MJ. I got you, man. I had to hit him with the curse real quick. Now, the chat might be wondering, why is Up B so strong in this game, but it wasn't in Smash 4? Well, let me tell you why. Oh! Wow, that fear <laughs> killed him. Instead of win boxes now, that's why it's very, very powerful move in this game. And Game Watch got the combos, too. Look at that, 48 on the board here already for Kofi. Yeah, Game Watch is sort of like the unsung hero of Long Island. There's a few that just sort of sneak around. Dang, you just called Game & Watch a hero? I'm going to I'm gonna have to ask you to retract that statement, sir. <laughs> Like this, <laughs> this character just gets to do things. Oh, he really man. just gets to swing. Dang. Kofi out here sitting on his first stock still. You know, less room to have to worry about chasing the buzz, more about fighting him. But if yep. he can secure the kills, the more important part. Yeah, I mean, right now is prime kill percent for uh, Almar. You got him at that 70, 90 percent mark. Very, very light character. Try to snipe him out with the up B, and he does on the second rep. Stroll. <laughs> definitely, I, I, I definitely can dig the song, but you know, you, you guys might have to not, get on the switch and change up some music. Yeah, not, not, not for like thunderstorms, <laughs> lightning in the background, <laughs> this castle arisen from the ground. This yep. is potentially Venia's last life on the winter side of Bracket. Ooh, are you dead? Wow, he almost oh, died to that. No, that he's dead yeah, now. He's dead. He couldn't even make so, it back. 
Ooh, very nice DI mix up from Venia. Just DI in, really catching Tweak off guard. Ooh. And the jump call out will do it. The back air seals it out. And once again, Korean, we're finding ourselves in game five. Game five territory. This is like, we're really backtracking for Tweak mains <laughs> at that point. Okay, but this Arsen already racking up quite a bit of damage here. Okay, but this Arsene is pretty fresh. Does not grab the normal getup, but we do get some trades here. Convenia catch the landing. Oh, Up man. Gets him. That is... Remember when I talked about that down air, that's the knife swipe? Yep, it so swiped them right important. into it. If you get some PGR wins in your pocket, bada bing, bada boom. You know what I mean? That, that's what you want. And it's an especially good look for Stocktaker, who as of recent has been able to travel a bit more. And he placed fairly well at the most recent Glitch event. He did fairly well at Super Smash Con. But yeah. to do well in his own backyard is a really good look. And he's beaten to Buzz, I believe, once before. Ooh, that is... Wow, that's Not nice. Not something a lot of players can say. I do think this is a very good matchup for Wolf, um, in my opinion. Uh, your, your Nair just... Wow. Very, very good two-frame coming out from the Buzz with that down air. We've seen the Buzz time and time again, right, with that... Uh, especially with the purple Pikmin down air. Yeah. Okay, and Stalktaker just slashing it up, keeping the pressure on with the... Uh, the dash attack. I mean, he's slowly bringing his way back into this. He hasn't taken too much damage. Feels like he has somewhat control here. Okay. Punish that uh, get up attack. I'm gonna put the laser or the blaster for the cherry on top. Oh, wow. Ooh, okay, the up smash. Wow, with Cute. no rage or a little bit of rage. Save him from that. I, th I really thought he was gonna. S All right. Blue Pikmin, the real champion, the real unsung hero. Yeah, I, I actually thought he was still alive. I'm very surprised he died. And like, he died in quick fashion. Like, that was, like, not even close. You know what I mean? <laughs> man, Blue Pikmin be hitting the gym. You really do. Oh, man, and look at this. Olimar is just... Oh, we saved the jump, and he air dodged right for the platform. Great play, but the two-frame from the buzz. Again and again, this offstage pressure, man. The buzz is really making it count. All right, Stock's got a lot of work ahead of him if he's going to try to make any damage here in game two. He's already sitting at 100 and counting. We yep. see the blue... Back, though, for more damage. Understandable, because he's going to just go in right for the spike in game two, going into Buzz pretty quickly. You don't see uh, Olimar jab all too often. Yeah, no, it's, it's been coming it's up seldom late. It's not bad. It's like, when you get so much off of up smash, why not just up smash anytime you'd want to jab? Yeah. Generally that, speaking. That Olimar up smash, yes, it does indeed hit behind Olimar. This is Stock's last stand. Let's see how he can make it work. I know, I know tech. Fear me. <laughs> <laughs> If he can do something with it, those ones are going to really matter because the buzz, he's already sizing up Venia, seeing how he can try and do the same because he's going to get his 3 0 victory over Stock Taker. Try to get the up air, tries to catch the landing, but great drift coming out from the buzz. Okay, there's the forward air. Buzz has the purple next on the lineup, and look at all this damage latches on. Are we going to see a substitute? Yes, we are. But this time, Buzz sitting in favor of the situation, going to be able to have time to shield and run away. He does have to be careful of that, though, especially wow. as Venia manages to threaten his shield. Said the Buzz was the one that took game one, right? So I believe so. Very similar start here. Um, see if the Buzz can possibly uh, bring this into a 2-0 into his favor. But I know, I know, at least for me, when I'm watching, I always like to see the bounce back and forth, right? I always root for a game five, a game ten, whatever the last possible thing is in anything. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. a big fan of it because it forces everything out of a player. Like, you put all that pressure on them. You force them to adapt. Like, especially with these two guys. Like, we know that DeBuzz can get aggressive even though he's known for his defensive play. And we know that Venia can really hold the line and play it passively if necessary despite being known as an aggressive player. Fortunate. Like, not only did DeBuzz develop a perfect counterplay for fighting Venia in their second set of the night, but all of these little things are just coming together yeah. to add up beautifully for DeBuzz. And it's really making this 3-0 in the works, like, that much harder to watch for Venia fans. Yeah, it's, th this, is, this is a tough one. Oh, man, the solo purple, jeez. It's such an uphill battle for Venia currently because he has to constantly throw himself at DeBuzz, figure out how to to pierce through the wall of Pikmin and the fact that DeBuzz is retreating. Meanwhile, DeBuzz is sitting really healthy on his second stock. Yeah, DeBuzz came out strong on this. Oh, and the snipe He came well. to kill. Yeah, you don't usually see DeBuzz, like, throw purples out like that unless he's just got a really big lead. Because it's, it's a pretty big resource if you miss. Up at least, like, 2-0 or 3-0, I believe. I know he's the last, like, two times they played, he's beaten him with Olimar. 
So, you know what I mean? It's kind of like why switch it up kind of thing. Yeah. It, it could also not be a matchup thing, but a player-based thing. So Yeah. It seems like, like Tweak's doing a fine job of mitigating a lot of the Olimar shenanigans, but the buzz in his own right is doing fine with being able to mix up how he's pressuring and like what he's deciding to do against Tweak. Because now we're seeing a bit more of the aggro play, more of a mid-range as opposed yeah. to the further ranges. Now that Tweak has a good idea of how he can play in the long-range game. There's the gun. Oh, man. Conway right into the forward air, leading into an offstage situation. The fly. Oh, and the up smash connects, but Town and City with those gracious ceilings. It's a second Lisa. Like, up smash had a shield when we got them. Whoa, there. Speaking of which, <laughs> up smash looks like kind of a weak hit. Oh, I like the guns right into the grab as well. Such a. And, like, that's the thing, too. Like, down guns combos in the things. It's so crazy. I've seen kill confirms. I've seen like damage strings come out from that. I like the air dodge to get into the ledge trap situation. And from that, gets the back air. All right, just like that. Yeah. That oh, was crazy. I love it. <laughs> so the so gun, gun footstool is hype. Gun's footstool is true. Like with or without Arsene. Yeah. But like. It's definitely easier to do with Arsene for sure. And look at that. Give me that oh. meter. But at what cost? He was not able to reach the uh, the ledge there. Yeah, no. He's got to figure out the spacings. The, the smash. He definitely, I think he could have gotten back, right? The Animal Crossing stages are the most forgiving when it comes to grappling hook recover, recovery options. Okay. Like, there's something about the layout of the stage and its ledge that's very forgiving about how you can return with grappling hook. It's just a matter of drifting inwards enough to be able to actually proc it to go to ledge. Oh, wow, and even like the, the platform kind of being a ceiling for Tweak. Yeah. Tech chase, okay. Gonna get the tech away there, but off stage. I think if Purple was the one to come out, that might have actually threatened to kill, but. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunate oh, ordering. Really? Wow, that Yo! almost killed on Town and City. Jeez, Blue Pikmin is very strong. Forward tilt center stage, not quite enough. Okay, the Buzz has to ditch all of his Pikmin, but the purple, and that's the one he needs, the up air connects. This is what's leaving the Buzz in his final stock of the tournament, potentially. And that that was good regardless. Even though he could have maybe gotten a little bit more damage, but Tweak had such a huge lead, right? And the fact that the Buzz even brought it back to even just really goes to show how great of a player he is. Just really able to slow the match down and just really make himself very hard to kill. It's a very it's a very valuable trait to hold with Olimar as well because like we've already touched on this. He's small, he's light, he's dying at the faintest of touches potentially. So the fact right. that the buzz has been able to, to tank all of these stocks super well, it's just a great mark of character. But oh, now man. is where the pressure's on. Because this is equally potentially the last Arsene of this match. Oh, cross up, no cross man, if he crossed him up, that could have been the stock. Try to go for another grab, another scramble situation, but here comes the guns, the parries, the into the grab. Shoot him up oh. into the... Wow, he didn't do anything. And the down smash connects for Tweak. He's going to defeat the Buzz.